Do you ever wonder if there are better alternatives to MessageBird? We got this question a lot, so we go into compare some key components between MessageBird and Vox Implant. I'm Artem, a software engineer, and I'm going to explain the differences. In this video, we'll compare AI capabilities, data center network, call quality, architecture design, and the video APIs offered by MessageBird and Vox Implant. Let's start. We'll start with AI capabilities. If you have built smart AVRs with MessageBird, you probably know it recognizes only keypad inputs. They work well in the simple phone menus, but are outdated and time-consuming for navigating larger trees. Callers may need to press one multiple times while navigating to their final destination. Instead, Vox Implant offers you natural language understanding that recognizes whole sentences. You can quickly route your callers to a proper destination and skip the traditional phone menu. This reduces frustration while allowing agents to deliver better service. If you use MessageBird Conversation API, you probably experienced service outage a few months ago. This is because MessageBird relies on a single data center provider, Google Cloud Platform. Despite Google being a great service, it may go down, bringing MessageBird down as well. Vox Implant prefer not to put all eggs in one basket. Our hybrid multi-cloud environment includes 14 cloud providers such as Amazon, Google, and a number of Tier 4 data centers. If one of our provider fails, our customer won't notice. Now, let's compare call quality. We all know that delayed or garbled calls hurt the customer experience. In Europe, MessageBird has only one data center located in Belgium. Vox Implant has data centers in nine European countries spanning the whole region. Imagine making a call from Spain to Italy. With MessageBird, your traffic will have to go through Belgium, adding the latency to a phone call. To lower the latency, it's better to route traffic through a server that is closest between users, such as friends. Thanks to our 14 data center locations, Vox Implant offers better low latency worldwide. Let's move on to an architecture comparison. MessageBird wasn't designed to be truly serverless. You always need to control call flow with scripts running outside the platform on your servers. As a result, you have to spend time and money to maintain extra servers, and it's harder to deploy new code. In contrast, Vox Implant has a fully serverless architecture. Of course, sometimes your application needs some data from external services. The difference is, it's just the data, not the call control script. The upside of Vox Implant serverless architecture is that servers become unnecessary. This means you don't spend extra. Call control happens via the JavaScript execution right on the servers that process the media flow. You can implement failover logic and granular call control right from your code. Finally, let's discuss video capabilities. MessageBird is a messaging-first company and doesn't actually offer a video API. That means you have to use a different vendor if you want to add a video into your customer experience. Vox Implant offers a video API, allowing you to integrate video calls into your web or mobile applications. We have a ready-to-go video conference templates for webinars, video interviewing, telehealth, and team meetings, so you can start in minutes. Check out the link in the description to find out more. That's all for this comparison. If you found this video useful, I recommend you check out our documentation. Contact us with any questions using the link in the description or sign up to try Vox Implant yourself.